Hi there, in this video we're going to have a look at the eBay scraper by scrapingsolutions.com.au. Now the purpose of this program is to scrape uh, products from the eBay website. So the first thing we need to do is click on the edit sellers button. Then in here we can enter the username of a seller. So I'm going to put in uh, this seller here called Express Trainers. So you just simply put in that name there and then press on OK. So we're just going to search uh, the items from Express Trainers. And then before we continue uh, with the scraping process, I want to show you that you can uh, change the threads here using the pull down menu. And this helps with performance. So you can select the amount of threads there. And here we have the duplicate check on. Um, so if you don't want any duplicates um, shown in here, uh, just uh, leave this uh, on. Okay, next you just click on the start button. Okay, so now it comes up with a box because it wants us to uh, create an Excel file. Uh, so this file is useful because it will gather that information and put it into an Excel file for you uh, to be able to edit in, in the future. So basically you just select location on your computer and I'm choosing desktop right here. Enter a file name for the file. I'll just call it my file and then simply press on save and then it's going to uh, process that information it's scraping from the eBay website and the uh, the list of information will appear right here as you can see it's coming through right now so once doing that I'm going to go through the columns here so we have listing ID and this is the ID for this particular product um, from eBay and we have the image URL and then we have the seller, which uh, as I said before, we had Express Trainers as a seller. Uh, and then it's the URL of that particular product, the title, category, and category ID. And you can use this scroll bar right at the bottom here uh, to move to the right, like so. And you can see various other things like the quantity sold, price currency, uh, postage cost, etc. So anytime you want to stop the process, click on the stop button. So as you can see, it's now stopping the process. Okay, so that's completed. Another thing you can do here is you can actually double click on a product here and it will open up in your browser. So you just double click on it and it's opened up right here as you can see if I enlarge it. This is the product um, that it relates to. Anytime you want to reset the database, just click on the file uh, option right at the top here and then click on reset database and it says are you sure just press on yes if you want to get all the items listed by a seller on a select category click on the edit sellers button then notice there's a link right at the bottom of the box that says get search URL if you click on that you're taken to eBay here enter the seller user ID and then press search Now notice on the left hand side we have categories. If you select the category, I'm going to choose men's trainers. It will just show you the men's trainers in the shop express trainers. So now if you go to the address bar right at the top and you're just going to left click in that to highlight it, then right click, copy, and then go back to the program. And in that box, you're just going to right click, paste. So here is our URL pasted in there and you can also add multiple URLs and if you wanted to search for um, all items from a seller just enter the uh, seller name and you can add multiple seller IDs in this box as well press on OK and then press start and then it allows you to create an Excel file I'm actually just going to overwrite uh, the file I've already got by clicking on it and pressing save so now it's going to uh, get the items from that selected category. So we're just going to wait for that to happen. Now I'm going to stop the process. Okay, now with the process stopped, you can see here uh, we only have uh, men's trainers. If I just move this across here, see these are all men's. So it's exactly what I selected. Uh, by selecting that category from the eBay website. 
Notice here we have a settings uh, button right up here and if I click on that you can enter the country code and you can click on the more info button and it gives you the country codes right here. Uh, you can also enter your zip or postal code in this box here. So this will allow you to get the uh, products just for that postcode area um, and also from that country. Now it's already created our um, Excel file but if you wish to uh, do another one you can just click on the export to file button right at the top here, uh, enter a name for it there and then press save. I'm going to show you the Excel file that I, that's already been created right here. So I put it on my desktop as you remember and it's uh, right here and if you double click on that it'll open up and as you can see here um, we have uh, the columns here and this is the images URL, we've got the seller name and we've got the item specs here and various other different things as you can see, item page URL there and the title everything is there so you can go ahead and easily edit this document and save it some of the other features this program does is it saves the data into an SQLite file so if you close the program and you reopened it this data will be saved until you go to the file and then reset database button it also not only uh, exports to an Excel document you can also click on the export to file button and where it says save as type if you use the pull down menu you can save it as a uh, CSV file if you just click on that enter the file name and press save it will save it as that format the program also protects you from IP bans um, it uses technology like random time delays and multiple browser user agents to stop your IP from getting banned while using this program um, if you want the program to be uh, customized to suit you, just get in contact with us and we'd be more than happy to help you uh, with doing that for you. Um, also don't forget you can check out the other scrapers on the website which is scrapingsolutions.com.au And lastly don't forget you can check out our YouTube channel, uh, the link is on the screen now. Thanks for watching.